What's up you guys, Avery here, just got back from class, and oh boy, yo boy was right. Can I just say that right now? Literally, in my previous video that I just made yesterday, I called all of this. I specifically said in my video yesterday that Konami should at least give us some sort of date, even if they can't say effective until, you know, October 2nd, and they gave us that. The next update after this will be no sooner than November 2017. Your boy called it. <laughs> and then, I also specifically said the last update we got was on 05-18-2017. Today is the 18th. It got updated exactly after four months. So I think it's safe to say every four months, roughly around, we get a new ban list, which is nice unless some sort of emergency list occurs. And now our next list, the next update will be no sooner than November 2017, which is great. We're only going to have to deal with this list for roughly two months, which is nice. We'll be getting a nice little refresh. Konami's going to watch and see what happens with the meta. This right here specifically makes the ban list all that much better. I've talked about for many previous ban lists that the ban list will never be as good as it was until we get some sort of clarification when the next list after will drop. The next update after this will be no sooner than November 2017. Just that little sentence alone makes this list all the more better. And I'm just going to say right now, I think that this list is absolutely great. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I've already seen the list. My buddy uh, Travis sent it to me. Shout out to my boy Travis. He thinks the list is meh. I think it's great because I think it's a step in the right direction into the Link Brains era that we are headed into now with all the new rules and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So banned right off the bat. We've got Grand Soil, Konami doesn't like FTKs, and Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. I hate true Draco, true King, Zoo, all that crap, all that's dead. It's so nice to see this band. I think it was a bit overkill, but I could care less. I hate that deck. True King, people were saying, uh, Doug Zeef said Lithosacum, Cap G said Litho something rather. It's Lithogasm. It's not that hard. <laughs> true King Lithogasm is banned. Dang Long, Dang Doodle is banned. Uh, da -da 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 -da, Emerald is banned. Broadbull and Dryden are banned. Let's talk about this here. Emerald is a very good rank four. The fact that you could abuse it with Norden and constantly draw multiple cards, I think it was just. It's a good time for it to be banned. The fact that it went from three to ban, I think, is a bit overkill, but I think it was a necessary evil to be done. Um, I do think it was kind of hit out of the fact that Zodiac got hit hard, so it was just kind of, you know, collateral damage, but, you know, the more damage that Zoo can take at this point, the better, because I'm sick of Zoo. Broadbull and Dryden, you know, Broadbull's a Stratos, let's be real here. Dryden is Dryden, there's nothing more to say about it. And that's it for the bans, they still didn't bring back my self-destruct button, but... You know, Zoo's dead. I can I can deal with that. But do give me back my self-destruct button, at least at some point, Konami. So to one, we have Ignis Heat, True Drake, a warrior. Um, look back at Dynamite Knight. <laughs> at first I thought it was on Grandma. I was like, wait, what? Miscellaneous Source. Um, I don't like dinosaurs, so I'm, I'm glad that this happened. I don't like any of the meta decks right now. I just think the dinosaurs are really boring. Miscellaneous Source is a good hit. You know, they're, they're trying to hit all the decks in the meta. Uh, Rat Pierre. I feel like, I'm going to play Devil's Advocate here, I feel like this is a good hit, however, at the same time, I feel like it was also overkill, you know, it's kind of like the Reborn Tengu um, uh, logic, you know, if you hit Tengu to 2, it's balanced, at least back then, you hit it to 1, and it's just completely useless, like, what's the point of even having Rat Pier as a card anymore, just because it's a Zodiac, question mark, like, the, uh, Rat Pier might as well just be a vanilla monster at this point, because now he doesn't have an effect. How are you going to resurrect a Rat Pier or even Special Summon one? I think leaving Rat Pier at 2 and just hitting other Zodiac cards would have been better, but, you know, at the same time, it is also a good hit. Um, also at 1, Dark Hole, Gateway the 6, and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. I don't know why they hit Kaiju Slumber, but I don't like Kaijus, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Gateway the 6... 
Uh, though I'm going to be completely honest here, and people are going to hate me for it, but let's be real. The only way, as of right now, until we get the new Six Samurai support, the only way that Six Sams are going to do good is if the player stacks. Like, <laughs> look back at the previous YCS, well, not previous YCS, but like there was a YCS a couple years ago that a guy came in first place, and he was known as a stacker, and he won with Six Sams, so <laughs> unless you're John Moore or Team Samurai, the only way that this deck's going to do well as of right now, anyway is uh if if you stack which uh, y your homeboy ain't gonna let you do that fam dark hole to one uh, let's be real here dark hole is still a broken card you know we could be in a in a world of Yu-Gi-Oh where we have last turn at three self-destruct button at three and just everything at three and dark hole would still be a broken card it, like it would still have to be at one same goes for Raigeki. Uh, do, 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 True King's Return is at 1. I'm happy with that. More hit to, uh, to True King's. God, I wish that they would bring back Macrocosmos. I wish that they would bring back Soul Drain. You know, OCG likes to have nice things. We don't get to have nice things. Freaking, uh, Sacrifice is still at 1. Uh, One Day of Peace is still at 1. Macrocosmos Dfish are still at 1. I wish that they would bring those cards back. So on to the semi-limits. Uh, BLS, sure. Uh, Luster Pendulum of the Draco Slayer, sure. Mathematician, sure. The semi-limits are always things that no one ever cares about. Brionic, no one cares. Hyper Librarian, no one cares. Brain Control, it's trash. Barrel from a different dimension. Now, when I had first started getting into Yugi tubing, I won my very first locals with a deck known as Burial Dad. And what it was was that you played three Necro Garden and three Barrel from the Different Dimension with like a zombie-esque engine with like Triple Caius and Dark Arm Dragon. And it was so good because your opponent would go to attack and you would just use your Necro Gardeners. And once you ran out of Necro Gardeners that they tried to attack, you would go activate Burial, send back all three Necro Gardeners, use Necro Gardeners effect to banish and they get another attack. So they need to bring back Burial to three. A burial from the different dimension has a special place in my heart, even in, even before Self Destruct Button was ever in my heart. Elshaw Fusion and Preparation of Rights, no one cares. Um, sure. Then to three, I'm really happy with this. Oh boy. So Debris Dragon, sure, why not? Honest to three, boys, we did it. We freaking did it. I can play three Honest and Trick Stars, and if I really want to be cheesy, I can play three Jurigatos. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me, and the fact that Trick Stars still have three Reincarnation. Oh my god, like, this is nice. Along with Charge of the Light Brigade at three, man, there's going to be some Light Swords running around right now, boys. Light I think that's like, I think Light Swords now have everything back at three. I think they're officially back at full maximum power. And now that I think about it, because I don't think that there's anything hit in Light Swarns that's not at three. Because I think Lumina is still at three. Um, I don't, I don't ever remember seeing Lumina still be at one. So with Honest at three and Charge at three, I think Light Swarns are definitely going to see some playability. I think it's it's going to be fun to play Light Swarns. I'm not going to lie. I'm gonna have to pick that deck up. Rescue Cat 3, no one cares. Rescue Rabbit, everyone's been freaking out about this. Rescue Rabbit ain't going to do a thing. Evil Swarms are bad, so we're going to have to wait and see on this. Summoner Monkey 3, sure. Witch, it's bad. Charge, already talked about. Dragon Ravine, uh, Dragoonities are bad. So, Wavering Eyes, Pendulums are dead. You could put everything back to 3, it wouldn't really matter at this point. So, like I said, I think that this list is amazing. Um, a lot of the hits, I think I will admit, some were overkill. Like, the whole Rap Pierre hit... It's a useless card. You might as well just errata Rat Pierre to be a normal monster that says this card was so broken it went from three to one and became a vanilla monster. Like that could be its flavor text. So I I, I don't see like you might as well just have banned Rat Pierre because no one's gonna play Rat Pierre anymore until it goes back to two or three. Um, Terra Top is still at one. Uh, I don't think Teratops ever going to come back. Why is Night Assailant still a 1? That's my thing. And I think that's why Konami has this here, that the, the next update after this will be no sooner than November 2017, because they're going to see how this list plays out. Then, depending on how well this list works out, then they're going to start bringing back cards that can be brought back. So, like, for example, we might see the return of... Well, I'm not saying we'll, we will see the return of Strauss, but hopefully see the return of Stratos. So cards like... Fishboard Blaster could come back. Um, Magical Scientist, you know, hell, even Substitute, it loses hard to hand traps. We have so many more hand traps now. Um, Tribe Infecting Virus, for God's sake, still needs to come off the ban list. Like, it could be at three and it wouldn't even do anything. Yadagarasu could come back to three, it wouldn't do anything. So I, I really think, 
I had a feeling that this list was going to be a very big list because even when I talked to my buddy Travis, I said I, I know for a fact that this is going to be one of the biggest ban lists that we have ever seen. And it really is. Like, I don't think I've seen a ban list this big since when we had our very first ban list that was separated from the OCG, when we got Dimensional Fissure, uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and um, what do you call it? Macrocosmos to one. Um, that was a very big list. And I think that this is either right up with that or it's even bigger than that list. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm very happy with this list. I, that, this is one of the best ban lists I have ever seen, and I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I went to my first local in 2008, so I guess you could say I've really been playing quote-unquote competitively since 2008, because I went to my first regional in 2008 as well. This is the best ban list I've seen, and I've been playing this game for almost 10 years. Competitively. So... Let me know what you guys think. I'm really happy that I called this. If you didn't see my previous video from yesterday, go and watch it because I literally prognosticated so many things. Like I specifically said, give us an estimate when the balance come out. They give us an estimate. And then I'm like, I predict the balance is going to come out tomorrow. It came out the next day. Like, yo boy is a great prognosticator. I'm just saying. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, be sure to hit that ding dong notification bell so you can be a notification bay of the day. And... This channel is going to start getting back up there. I know I've been kind of slow with uploads, but the game's been boring. It's been dead, really. And oh, this just breathed a whole new life into the game. So thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe if you have not already.